year ago with seniors Tyler Feldkamp, Michael Paulson, Tucker Large, and Core Call all back. Overall, the Rough Riders have eight seniors on the roster, which should be an early advantage with the limited offseason work. This senior class has been a key part in turning around Roosevelt's program. As just five years ago, the Rough Riders won just one game in Mitch Begeman's first year as head coach. A lot of them all got opportunities early on. You know, we played some of these kids and Tyler Feldkamp and Tucker Large as freshmen. Um, and those were some big, big uh, opportunities for those kids right away. And the rest of them kind of followed suit and, and got, you know, minutes as sophomores and, uh, you know, started as juniors. These kids um, have been a, um, a huge piece to our puzzle. And, and honestly, the success that we've had is because of this, this class. The Rough Riders tip off their season on Saturday against Crosstown rival O'Gorman. Yankton checks in at number two in the poll, and a lot of that has to do with Matthew Moore's returning for his sixth and final season. The Bucks will have to replace All-State guard Cooper Corneman and big man Hunter Katros in its starting lineup. Trevor Fitzgerald and Aiden Fieser are the other two returning starters. Yankton will look to fill in those departed roles as a group, but the most important thing for their success this season will come on defense. Uh, we just don't have the scoring punch that we've had in years past. Um, uh, so I think that's going to be something that we're, especially inside, obviously Matthew is a big, but then after that, uh, really falls off as far as size for us. So we're going to have to guard, we're going to have to guard inside, we're going to have to guard the post. Um, but hopefully as, as the season goes on, we can get some guys some more experience and, and hopefully we're playing you know, pretty good basketball coming into the season. The Bucks open their season out west against Spearfish on Friday. Harrisburg's run of three consecutive state tournament appearances ended last season. The Tigers have nine seniors back this year with six players returning with starting experience. Head coach Scott Langrock hopes that experience will give them an early season advantage and help set them up for a playoff run later in the season. On top of that, the Tigers will look to rely on their length with 10 players on the roster listed at 6'3 or taller. It's, it's a really long team for us, no doubt about it. Hopefully we can develop into a defensive team that rebounds well and gets us out in transition. And then uh, uh, offensively, if we can space the floor and use some of that length and athleticism to spread people out, that'd be a great thing for us. Harrisburg hosts Pier on Friday night. The Mitchell Colonels finished just 17 and four, 7 and 14 a year ago and lost their Sodak 16 contest against Roosevelt. Mitchell only graduated one senior and returns four starters to this year's team, including leading scorer Caden Hinker, who averaged more than 17 points per game last season. The Colonels will look to use their bigs this year as they have Hinker at 6'6 six six and Zane Alm, who is 6'10. We're going to run a lot of our stuff through them. Uh, we could, we're able to. Uh, they both are able to play inside and out. Uh, you know, we just, we have to take advantage of, of our size and, and kids like that don't come along very often. And, and we are in a situation where we're going to play the old style of basketball. The Colonels will tip off the season on Saturday against Huron at 7 o'clock. Well, one class down, five more to go. We'll preview the class AA girls next.